Praise the Lord, my brothers and sisters. So this video is very just it's important. It's a, it's powerful. Some people are going to take this as uh, a warning and others are going to see it as encouragement. And so, you know, I, I wrote this on some Hanes, you know, socks that I bought from Walmart uh, this morning while I was in prayer and God gave me this clear vision. So I'm going to wait just a second for a few of you to log in and then I'm going to just tell you what he showed me. And I believe that if you're watching this, it's because God specifically wanted you to hear this because you are chosen. So I woke up this morning and I was just laying there and I was kind of, be, me being honest, I was kind of lazily praying. Like, you know, I was in the bed just kind of like, you know, lazy. I didn't really want to get up. And then God just, he just gave me this clear vision. And I know when he gives me visions because it's so clear and it's so accurate. Sometimes he gives me dreams and then I wake up and I begin to pray and I say, Lord, what did that mean? And he'll give me an interpretation. And sometimes he'll just show me images or, or pictures and then, you know, he'll tell me immediately what it means. And so as I was laying in the bed and I was just, you know, kind of just thank you, Jesus. I thank you for this day. And I knew that I was eventually going to get up. The vision came to me clear as day. And it was like I was like this huge ocean. And I, I just could see like in the distance, there was a wave that was beginning to like swell up. And as I was looking and I was watching, it was like the wave, man, ah, I already feel myself getting emotional. It was like the wave was coming and it was getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And the closer it got, I was like, yo, like that is a big wave. It was like a, it was a monster wave. It was a, a it was like one of those waves that they talk about. What is it? The, the monsoon season, the, the typhoons. And so, I mean, it was huge. It was the, the biggest wave I've ever seen in my life. You know, in like in, in science class, I've seen, you know, the waves and the natural disaster. This was like out of a, out of a movie. Okay. And then when I look closer, it was like there was people that were surfing the wave, but they didn't have any surfboards. They were just, they were just like, they were on the, the top, like the very top of the wave. They were sitting there and they had these, these smiles on their faces. Like they were just like exploding in joy. Right. And they were so happy because it was like, they knew where they were going and they weren't scared and they weren't afraid. And then like in the water, there were people who were, you know how they, the surfers wait on the board for the wave to come? They were looking and they were waiting for the wave. And when the wave got closer, it picked them up and they too got on the wave. And then it was like the Lord showed me the wave was heading to the city, but the city represented the whole world. It wasn't, it wasn't one particular city. It was, it was just the whole world in that city. And the wave came it was so big man and boom it hit the city and when it hit the city the water just flooded everything right it flooded everything and then you know if you've ever seen this in man jesus okay if you've ever if you've ever seen this you know like in science class or something the the wave will come in and then it begins to pull back and so when the wave began to pull back, everything that wasn't grounded, it was like everything, you know, you have a foundation that goes deep. Everything that wasn't grounded, it got swept up in the pullback and the wave went back out. And then again, it got big and it started to come in and it was coming in for a second time. And it was the same thing. I saw different people. Some of them I knew, some of them that I didn't. And they were just smiling and they were riding the top of the wave. And the Lord told me right away, all right, the wave that he is about to send, it's like a, a new awakening. It's like a, uh, it's like a, um, it's like a, it's a new, like a revival, a new revelation of his power. Like it's the thing that we've been waiting on is the thing that a lot of churches been talking about for years. He says, I'm about to send it. And then he said, tell my people, I want them to ride it. We're going to ride the wave of his glory. We're going to ride the wave of his power. We're going to ride the wave of his anointing. 
and it's been a rough year already. You know, 2020 has been crazy, but he says, I'm coming with a wave. And then he told me that the stuff that was grounded in the city, first of all, the loose stuff, right, that wasn't grounded, you can interpret it like this. It's the people that don't know God. And so the wave came in and then it pulled them. And when it pulled them, just like some of the surfers that were waiting for the wave, it pulled them up and it brought them to the top. But the others that didn't come to the top of the wave got consumed. And then he showed me that the buildings represented people who were so in love with this world, so in love with the things of this world, and also in the church, so stuck in tradition and in religion that when the wave came in, it couldn't pull them out. They couldn't get with the program. The wave the wave came in and it just it hit everything in the city. But because they were so rooted in religion and tradition and love for the things of this earth, it's like it's like the water was all around and they could see it, but they just couldn't get with the flow. They saw the effects. They saw how the water was sweeping up. They saw the people riding in on the wave. And, and thank you, Lord, bringing it back to my memory. I, have, I had wrote it down. The people who were riding the wave, they had different looks to them. They had different methods to them. And the Lord was saying that I made it this way so that when that wave comes in, nobody has an excuse. He's going to speak languages to people that you might not understand, whether it's through music, ministry, children's ministry. There's going to be different methods. And so those people came in on the wave and there was people who were like in the buildings that were just rooted in the tradition. And they didn't like the way that some of them looked. They didn't like some the way some of them were smiling on the wave and some of them were dancing on the wave and, 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 and they didn't like how some of them were dressed on the wave. And, and so the wave came in and it pulled everything out and they're like, that, that's, no, that's not right. And they ignored, they ignored it. They, it was the wave of his power. It was the wave of revival. It was the wave of his glory. And they ignored it because the wave didn't come how they thought it should come. And because they were not the one riding the top of the wave, it just made them bitter. But it did sweep up some and bring them out. And it's like they just, they just, they were so consumed in the wave. They were so consumed in the presence of God. They were so consumed in his glory that it just, it's, it just brought them back out into the water and then brought them to the top. And every time it would go back and, you know, every time it would go in the city and it would come back, there would be more people riding on the top, a remnant. Last thing, and I'm glad that I wrote this down. The wave is not to disrespect the former things, all right? God has used certain things in a certain season for a certain reason. So when we come on this wave, it's not to disrespect the men and women of God who have went before us because a lot of them, they're going to adapt and they're going to get on the wave. They're not going to be stuck in religion, but this is not to come in to be arrogant. This is not to come in to be disrespectful. You must respect the former things, the ones that went before us. It's not that what they were doing was bad. It's not that what they were doing was wrong. They were doing what they knew, and it was beneficial for the time. Love you guys. Share this video. And if you have a prayer request, feel free to put it in the comments. I love you guys. I thank you guys, um, you know, for just supporting me through the years supporting me uh you know with the video supporting me with the music supporting me with prayers some of you have shown into my life i'm excited for what god is going to do this covid 19 is gonna it's gonna go away there was a wave of covid 19 but there's a wave of his glory coming there's a wave of revival coming and i believe i believe we're so close i believe god is about to pull back the curtain i personally believe by the time that june comes along we're going to be able to step into it so remember what I told you guys, um, and I'm not going to go the political route. I only want to go kingdom. But the Lord told me if they build it in this season, that he was going to bless it. Just like they built the temple when uh, King Cyrus 
told them to. Love you guys. Be blessed. In Jesus' name.